Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the walls of a Gigafactory before a Tesla hits the streets? In Tesla's production centers, concepts once thought to belong solely to science fiction materialize every day. Rows of robots moving in a choreography with millimeter precision, battery cells promising ever greater ranges, and a philosophy of continuous improvement that permeates every screw. Below, we take a detailed tour of the entire industrial itinerary that transforms simple rolls of aluminum into the electric vehicles setting global trends today. It all starts with a digital sketch. Multidisciplinary engineering and design teams collaborate in a state-of-the-art CAD environment to define aerodynamic lines, interior ergonomics, and wiring routes. Computational fluid dynamics simulations analyze wind resistance, while computer-aided engineering packages evaluate deformations and fatigue points long before the first piece of metal is cut. This digital twin allows refinement of hundreds of parameters, from the coefficient of aerodynamic drag to cabin ventilation, without producing a single physical prototype. Once the virtual design is finalized, polymer and metal three-dimensional printers produce pilot parts. Components such as interior panels, sensor mounts, and inverter housings can be printed in hours, speeding fit and assembly tests. At the same time, scaled crash test laboratories conduct controlled mini-impacts to ensure energy absorption zones and torsional rigidity of the unibody. Each iteration feeds back into the computational model, closing a feedback loop that cuts development times and avoids costly mass production errors. For the exterior structure, high-strength aluminum is combined with dual-phase alloy steels. The goal is to balance lightness and durability, essential in an electric vehicle where every extra kilogram affects range. Tesla incorporates recyclable thermoplastic resins in non-structural parts and PT-derived textiles from recovered bottles in upholstery. Even acoustic insulators use fibers sourced from recycled fishing nets, reducing reliance on virgin polyurethanes. Inside the Gigafactory, the process takes place in dry rooms with relative humidity below 1%. Aluminum and copper sheets are coated with cathode and anode pastes via slot die coating before passing through drying ovens at 150 degrees Celsius. After winding, the cylindrical cells rest in aging chambers for several days to stabilize the electrolyte and electrodes. An automated system groups thousands of cells into modules interconnected with flexible nickel strips that act as mechanical fuses. The resulting packs include integrated cooling plates and distributed temperature sensors to monitor every zone in real time. Aluminum coils, verified by spectrometry to ensure the correct alloy, are unspooled, degreased, and blanked with tolerances of plus or minus 0.25 millimeters. These blanks enter 6,000-ton hydraulic presses equipped with active cushions. Each strike, lasting under 100 milliseconds, stamps hoods, doors, and side panels without wrinkles or cracks. Secondary dies then trim final contours and punch holes for hinges and mounting points. A three-dimensional laser inspection system scans every panel. Parts with deviations greater than plus or minus 0.05 millimeters are sent for rework. To enhance rigidity without adding significant mass, structural foam is injected into the A and B pillars and some cross members. The material expands during thermal curing, reinforcing the safety cell and absorbing energy in a collision. Finished panels are placed into ergonomic racks and transported by automated guided vehicles to the welding cell. Scrap is shredded and returned to the internal smelting loop, closing the aluminum recycling circuit. The result is a lightweight, precise, and robust frame ready to join the assembly line without further adjustments. Six-axis robots apply hybrid laser weld beads that penetrate up to three millimeters with minimal distortion. In mixed metal and composite areas, self-piercing rivets and fast-curing epoxy adhesives ensure mechanical continuity and galvanic isolation. Infrared cameras inspect every joint and automatically reject any weld outside tolerance. The body enters pre-treatment baths for degreasing and anti-corrosion coatings by electrodeposition, E-coat. It then moves into sealed booths where electrostatic robots spray primer, color coat, and clear coat. Micro nozzles dispense paint in sync with the vehicle's line speed to minimize overspray. A 180 degree Celsius curing tunnel seals the finish, while ultraviolet lights reveal any particles trapped in the clear layer. Defective units automatically return for spot refinishing. The powertrain line operates in a climate-controlled hull that eliminates dust and maintains stable temperature. The stator is formed by stamping silicon steel laminations, stacking and insulating them. Robots insert rectangular copper conductors using the hairpin technique, laser weld the ends, and vacuum seal the assembly with epoxy resin. 
In parallel, the rotor is machined on a shaft into lamination stacks with cavities for neodymium iron boron permanent magnets. After a liquid nitrogen bath, the magnets are inserted and lock in place as the assembly returns to ambient temperature. The rotor is dynamically balanced at 20,000 revolutions per minute until vibration is reduced to micrometer levels. Stator and rotor are assembled in die-cast aluminum housings alongside ceramic bearings, thermal sensors, cooling channels, and an encoder for vector control. Each motor is then test bench through simulated ramps, regenerative braking, and accelerations, equivalent to 500 kilometers in 20 minutes. Torque, temperature, and efficiency are monitored. Only units within limits are sealed to IP67 standards and laser etched with a traceability code. Approved power units are shipped in cushion containers to the marriage station, ready to integrate with the battery pack and the rest of the drivetrain. Meanwhile, interior modules are built in flexible cells. Seats incorporate graded density polyurethane foams to offer selective support for thighs, lumbar region, and shoulders. Touchscreens are installed in dust-free conditions to avoid dead pixels. The wiring harnesses, labeled with universal color codes, are routed so any technician can replace a component in minutes. LED ambient lighting, HEPA filters, and non-porous surfaces complete an environment that prioritizes user experience. At the marriage station, chassis and powertrain join. A gantry robot positions the multi-hundred kilogram battery with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 millimeters on anti-vibration mounts. Under that same arm, inverters, DC-DC converters, and the ultra-fast charging system are installed. Once the assembly is complete, glycol-based coolant is injected and the circuit is vacuum purged to prevent cavitation. Calibration engineers connect the vehicle to secure servers to install the latest operating system version. Assisted driving modules, thermal management, and battery monitoring features are enabled. Diagnostic tools run over 500 tests in seconds, from detecting disconnected sensors to verifying torque tolerances on brake actuators. Once passed, the firmware is encrypted and linked to the unit's serial number. Before leaving the factory, each car rolls through an internal proving ground with variable surfaces, cobblestones, rough asphalt, and paved sections. Parasitic noises, suspension calibration, and ceiling integrity under simulated rain are evaluated. High-speed cameras inspect tire wear patterns after a full stop from 100 km per hour. Finally, an anechoic tunnel verifies sound insulation, and a LiDAR system checks radar and camera alignment for semi-autonomous driving. After the test track, the body passes through a diffuse white light tunnel where technicians search for microscopic paint imperfections. A three-dimensional scanner captures the entire geometry and compares it to the master model. Deviations greater than 0.2 millimeters in visible areas trigger rework. Only then are the interior protective films removed and the vehicle wrapped in breathable film before loading onto electric trucks or rail cars with specialized tie-downs for battery vehicles. At distribution centers, trained staff configure language, measurement units, and user profiles as requested. During handover, key functions, such as variable regeneration, scheduled overnight charging, and over-the-air updates, are explained. After delivery, the cloud connection keeps the vehicle up to date with security patches, new features, and efficiency optimizations, all without visiting a service center. According to corporate reports, around 1,300,000 units rolled off Tesla's lines in 2025. Fremont and Austin each contribute 500,000 vehicles annually, while Shanghai and Berlin complete the remainder with similar figures. All plants operate on an energy mix dominated by renewables. Solar rooftops, wind power purchase agreements, and stationary megapack battery storage. In Nevada, more than 80% of daytime electricity demand is met on site by 200 megawatts of photovoltaic panels. Global sales exceeded $80 billion in the most recent fiscal year, with gross margins sustained by automation and vertical integration. The roadmap includes solid-state batteries, reduced reliance on rare earths in motors, and closed-loop recycling processes capable of recovering more than 90% of lithium and nickel. Modular production lines that can switch models in less than 24 hours are also under investigation, minimizing downtime and adapting to real-time demand. Understanding every link, from virtual simulation to final calibration, reveals the complexity hidden beneath the polished surface of an electric sedan. Behind the minimalist exterior lie thousands of engineering and sustainability decisions that together enable mobility with a smaller environmental footprint.